commandments of God and walking from his forth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort. Make your humble confession to an almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge we well our manifold sins and wickedness which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty, provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us and have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please you in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn to you. Have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It is very meek, right, and our bounden duty that we shall at all times and in all places give thanks unto you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your holy name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, O Lord, most high. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our suffering souls and bodies may be made clean by his death and washed through his blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. did give your only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you and grant that we, receiving these your creatures of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who on the same night that he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. 
Do this as often as you should drink it in remembrance of me. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for us to preserve our soul and body into everlasting life, I take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ which was shed for us to preserve our soul and body into everlasting life. I drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for us and be thankful. Let us repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, we, your humble servants, desire your fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching you to grant that by the merits and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and your whole church may attain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present to you, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto you. Humbly beseeching you that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be filled with your grace and heavenly benediction. And although we be unworthy, through our manifold sins, to offer unto you any sacrifice. Yet we beseech you to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but parting our offenses through Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto you, O Father, almighty, world without end. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory, O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. You who takes away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For you alone are holy. You alone are the Lord. You alone, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, are most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And for our benediction, let us pray. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace, children of God.